Table Talk, we're just stretching it out here. I'm joined by the lovely Will, Sam, my name's Maud. This is Hashtag Table Talk to get those topics in, either on Reddit or using Hashtag Table Talk on Twitter. Will, you want to dive on in? Yeah, it's darker here than usual. Look at that. It's just me. It feels darker here. Where the light at? I don't know. I don't. Uh. Your glow lights us all. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Bijarni Anger. I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> Say that. Bajarni Ingra. It's Bajarni Ingra. <laughs> what is it? Bajarni Ingra. <laughs> Can you imagine if you actually just stopped having the ability to speak? Uh, I wish you did. Okay, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go like ding on it. Get Drake. Nah, go and get get. Nah, go and go and Kanye. Darren. Darren. The Johnny uh, Linger. Bajarni Linger mm -hmm. said. Bajarni Erlinger. Does it say anything backwards? Rug nil rail narb. No, I think it's I think that's uh, the Swedish or Multiply each yeah. of the letters by an integer and see what that spells out. If it is Bjarni, maybe the the J is not a hard J. It, I mean, it could be a soft J. Bjarni. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. Big hello from us. Do you have something that always cheers you up after a bad day? Specific music or food, a movie or TV show, or maybe just a random YouTube video? Uh, Bob's Burgers. Oh yeah, that's yeah. A thing? yeah. It's like a, it's like a, like a turn your brain like, off. Yeah, it turns your brain off, and it kind of like a nice jacuzzi. It's like a nice pool of happiness. I think oh. that's why uh, like shows like The Simpsons and Futurama uh, went on for so long because like uh, in order to watch them, they're they're funny. And you just turn off your brain off because you know, like you know how it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. You know exactly how it's gonna go. It's, it's formulaic. This formulaic. It's all the same thing. over and over again. And that's why I think a lot of people watch a lot of YouTube videos because it's kind of formulaic. I try to switch my shit up, but you know sometimes you can't. Uh, but for me, YouTube videos. There's a video I always watch called Brain Crack by Zay Frank. I've talked about it before. Type it into your shit. It's just one video that he's watched a million times. Um, it, he does say things that are really interesting. Really interesting. And really important. Lot, yeah. What I found though is that people like who speak motivational. Uh, or like you know, just uh, that have nice, good things to say. Uh -huh. We don't really listen to them. What we we do, you guys need to stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, if you actually listen to the things people are saying and like and incorporate them into your life, it'll be better. But that's what I watch. Something I've learned about you though is that you can consume the one thing over and over and over again, still get something from it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just uh, I don't know. Uh, things I think things get old for people really quickly, but I kind of like the same thing. I just like reliving like I can I don't know. It's better if you can feel like when something's motivational to you, um, eventually it'll stop being motivational to you. Mm. For me, that doesn't really happen. I've seen the brain crack video a million, million times. times. Yeah. I've heard a lot of uh, Kanye songs a million times and I it got me yes, pumped every has. time. <laughs> it's just I don't know. Some things are really good for your brain and I like to keep doing them over and over again. Side note. I was going to the gym yesterday and I picked a Spotify playlist and a Kanye song came on and I liked it so much I saved it to my Spotify. Good. What's the song? I know one at Power. Oh That's yeah. No one I, man I, oh, all man. that power, power. bitch. No, I didn't want <laughs> I didn't want to tell don't tell Darren though. Don't, don't tell don't, Darren. Don't tell Darren so I, I like Kanye. I It'll talked about a slippery slope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was on a play table more. talk the other day and I talked about I have a, a, a Spotify playlist mm -hmm. called it's called Am I Bino? That's it. Fun Bino and Fun Ye. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I talked about that and I was like, when I go on Spotify, that's like the only website that is just for me. Like, I'm on Spotify, I'm not putting jokes out there for you. And then after I did that, I nonchalantly, I realized like all day, I'm just been getting like people like following me on Spotify. Leave me alone, all right? <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. I yeah. didn't know that was yeah, a thing. People can follow, yeah, you can follow There's people. There's a social element on a lot of things. Like, I was innocently playing Quiz Up. Because I love Quiz Up. I can completely get my fandom like a Facebook on. Thing? No, Quiz Up is um, you pick a topic that you specialize in and you challenge people from around the world like with seven questions on that topic. So Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Harry Potter, that's all I play. Mm -hmm. And I'm obsessed with it. I'm really good at grammar as well. Um, but what I didn't realize is that when they updated the feature, there's like an inbuilt Tinder now. So Ew. you can see people from around the world um, and see what topics they're into, and then they'll be like, hey, you've got these topics in common. So then all of a sudden, my poor innocent quiz up is filled with, oh, are you an angel? And I'm like, I'm, no, <laughs> no, I'm not going No, no one does that to no. me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're you sexy, an and it's like the wrong your, and there's just like a bunch of things, and I'm like, I'm just trying to play quiz up. 
yeah. with Star Wars, Game of Thrones, and Harry Potter. Yeah. And it's like, how dare you use that as like a way to... Dudes don't care. Dudes do not care. What am I going to do? Be like, yeah, I'll, tra- I'll challenge you, you to Harry dude, Potter. And that's like, how you got Like, you're warmed up. If, if you were at a funeral crying over uncle and you were wearing all black, but you had, a, you had some nice lipstick on that day, some guy would be like, hey, nice lipstick. What are you doing around here? Come here often? <laughs> it just, it doesn't matter. You know, any opportunity. I just don't like how Quiz Up thought that if we, we let's combine like a, a popular app to yeah. quizzes. To Which quizzes? App? Tinder. Perfect for Perfect. quizzes. Ooh. I'm just kidding. I don't mind if you guys uh, follow my thing on uh, Spotify. I just didn't know I was thinking it scared oh, me. No, no I looked snapped. at the other day. It was like, uh, like it's not bragging, but like it was like a hundred people. I'm like, why are you following me? I'm listening to the same like three songs for like three weeks straight. Me and then too. I'll you do. Bit. Does it tell I you? Said, hey, 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 living like a renegade. renegade. Yeah, the song's really, over really good. And over. So what do I do if I'm no. having a bad day? What cheers me up? I completely agree with you. When um, my go-to's for entertainment is. I love those superhero movies and I love these kind of television shows where you don't really have to think. Mm-hmm. They don't challenge you in an intellectual way. It's just to entertain you. Mm-hmm. And I want to be entertained sometimes. Like Age of Ultron, I was just like, yay! Yeah, I know you're just being entertained. Yeah. Throughout that whole three hours. That's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. But it when was it, just entertainment. It's yeah. entertaining. But when, like, but I do love documentaries. David Attenborough is like mm-hmm. sustenance to me and like it mm-hmm. helps me through a lot of hangovers. So thank you, <laughs> Dr. Attenborough. Um, no, we've been watching that, right? Life. 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 It's been oh, really it's incredible. It's spectacular. Is uh, David it's just, it, It's crazy to me because if you, like, life is a movie about uh, or a TV show, uh, TV series. I think. It's a TV yeah, yeah. series where they they go around the entire world and they show you all these animals and they talk about them and they give them a narrative. And it's so crazy because uh, they're like these tiny bugs that do these amazing things. Frogs that that climb up a tree to find a pool of water to put their babies in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, and we we we're sitting there and we're awed in our living room by this. Yes. And t- 20 minutes before that. And 20 minutes after that, what people have a habit of doing is being like, I'm bored. How? There's so much cool shit. Mm-hmm. There's so much cool shit. Life is really cool to yeah. watch. That's mm-hmm. so freaking cool. Every, like, every 10 seconds, you're like, whoa, Yeah, that's cool. the best part about David Attenborough's documentaries mm-hmm. is that even if you don't want to learn anything, you are having the best time absorbing yeah. knowledge. That's the only documentary I think where people have been like genuinely interested in. Oh. Yeah. And they're always genuinely interested. They're like, oh my god. So I cried cool. in a couple. Oh, yeah. Whoa, the one with the octopus. So apparently, like female octopi pusses. I can say both. Ooh, I know that. So you I did say throw that. octopuses yeah. at me. Octo- <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, but no. Apparently, like when they become pregnant, they like just go find a cave. And they like lay their eggs and they, like attach them to the ceiling. And they wait there and they protect them and like blow water on them and then they die. Yeah, that's it. That's the, the end of their lives. Life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What about the the killer whale? The what? killer whales that so the mama blue whale was there with the little calf blue whale and they were migrating north mm-hmm. and three killer whales surrounded the the calf and were swimming around it to try and draw a distance between the blue whale mama and the calf and then as soon as there was enough space on top, get this. Mm. Wait. Ha. The killer whales. Swam on top of the the calf blue whale and drowned it. No way! Whoa! Because you know how they need the blue hole. Yeah. Yeah. They drowned. Don't you dare cry over this Mm. blue whale. It was it's been dead for five years, (laughs) mod. It's all right. They so they want obviously wanted it for food. All they ate was the blue whale's calves tongue. And then the rest of the carcass just drops oh, to the bottom. They say that's humans gross. waste shit. Come on, that's a big ass that's blue a whale. whale. That's, that's a whale. That's a whale. And then the mom had to continue the path of migration yeah. without its child. So horrible. <gasps> uh, but what I really like about that show is that uh, you might not realize it, but uh, each uh, like it switches from animal to animal. <laughs> And it, it, oh my god. It was really emotional. It, it was, was David yeah, Attenborough as well. Animals. Like, stop making me feel. They're animals. But what's interesting about the You're show is that I am. They should put me in an episode. This is the William Haynes. It's just me on my laptop. <laughs> and then sometimes I go, mm, and then that's it. And then you cut to more being like, drink some water. Drink some more water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I like about the show is that it it shows contrast. It's like it'll show like an animal and then another animal that's the opposite of that animal. What it showed is like a reindeer. Reindeer are real animals, and what they do <laughs> is that they, 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 a lot of people don't no, realize no, no. that. Yeah. Last a lot night we were watching that. it, and Steve and Will were like. Reindeer, reindeer. And I'm like, yeah, they're, they're animals. I mean, I knew they were real animals. You did? But like, okay. yeah, I never Steve seen them in that like high quality. Blown away. See, they they might not have known that. Yeah. The red nose. No, they that don't have the red nose. Up. I don't know. I didn't know where they were from though. I didn't know where you could find reindeer. Mm-hmm. And I, they apparently they're in snowy areas and non snowy areas. But what's really interesting about them is this certain type of reindeer. They walk their whole life looking for food. Yeah. Uh huh. And they like uh, will just like will walk and eat and so they will walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And some of them they said will walk around the earth three times. 
That, uh, like that's the distance in their whole life is the circumference of the yeah. Earth. Wow. Or, and, uh, and then they went from that to show. Uh, then I went to sleep. What did they that? show after that? Oh, a fruit bat. A fruit bat, which because that life is horrible. Okay, so the reindeers go down the mountain and to go to go get more food, How and they have to. Huh? No, it's really on. interesting. Life yeah. is so, really interesting. So and then, then they get to the bottom of the mountain, and there's millions of flies so bad that they have to climb back up to the mountain to where there's no food, and they switch from that to the fruit bat, which all fruit bats do is eat and sleep. Mm -hmm. The opposite of a reindeer. Yeah. The opposite. It's horrible being a reindeer. Mm -hmm. But they're so cute. They're so cute. I want to ride one. My yeah. least favorite animals, I think, are frogs. <gasps> oh, no, no, sorry. Toads. 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 Same. Toads. Same. Toads. We get toads, toads in Queensland, and oh. they are like a cow did a shit, and it started jumping. Yeah. <laughs> and then right? That's what it looks like. Yeah, with like the oh bumps my. and everything. Do they even walk, or do they just jump? They just jump. It's the ones they we saw last night that like, it's really cool, because like they like fight. Like The males are really competitive. Like We saw like there's a male and a female having sex, and then a guy came over. Like, mm -mm. And just and like, and like over. knocked him off mm. and then like continued. Do you know how pissed I would be if I was like, oh baby, finally? Yeah. And then this guy comes, I'm like, hey! But the guy didn't like come and get you. He like he doesn't come you get, off. He's not like, hey. He's like, hey! Yeah. I'm like, damn it! Toads are disgusting. They're gross. I, I'll never forget um because we have a lot of cane toads in Queensland. It was an introduced species oh. to take care of the cane beetle, which was imported from Hawaii. Oops. The cane toad was. And that it, always helps. It went from I think like central Queensland and it's just spread to like a good third of the coastline of Australia. They are petrifying. Because they have poisonous glands, they have no natural predator, and they're just getting bigger and bigger. Oh, they have a great. theory that Ew. they're going to get so big that they're going to be like cyborg, and they're going to jump on their hind legs and be like... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You I think they don't have a natural predator. Humans are, are everyone's natural predator. You get a good mm. golf club or you oh, know, yeah. a car and just drive over them. Oh, yeah. But there was a, a, a video in science, and that was like the study of the cane toad, and what they did was roll a ping pong ball past it, and it jumped on it, tried to have sex with a ping pong ball, and when it did it, it ate it. It ate it? Yes. Wow. Because toads will eat small birds, all insects. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it eats, like, everything. My favorite photo to send oh. around to people is this one of a spider picking up a bird. No it, yeah, way! It's a right, giant yeah. spider. Yeah, oh. that's what it is, yeah. And it has, like, a bird in its legs as it's climbing. Oh god! Uh, Somebody uh, pull something uh, else. I'm done with this. Uh, Any of the bug stuff in that show is gross. Is gross. It, it's to me. cool and for a second. Frogs. Remember the toad part? Were you still awake when we were watching when the toad like uh, the the toads all put their like their little sperms, the little tadpoles, tadpoles into yeah. a pool, mm -hmm. and then the pool like ran out of water, and it was and they were all gross next to each other, just looked like little black sperms, and then he had to dig a hole. Like, eh. <laughs> God. What was the one with the two slugs and they? The oh, Bree and Steve kept showing people yeah. that oh, with their two eyes. slugs. No, no, the like penis tennis. came out and then intertwined like that over and over, yeah. over until they touched it. When they, they have in. sex, they like they That's legal now in America. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, it's the most Australia. beautiful sex ever. I mean, kind of. Uh, I got a thing. Okay. <laughs> Hudson uh, Strainy, uh, Trojan Man underscore from Twitter writes, if you could say one word for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oops. That's easy. I <laughs> like oops. Yeah. <laughs> what's, my, yeah. what's my habit? Yeah, yeah, what's my crush? What do I fall on? Oi. 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 Yeah, there you I go. I love oi. oi. You want to say that for the rest of your life? Oi. oi. Actually, that'd be, that's oi. good, like, getting your attention. Oi. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oi. Can I have huh? Yeah. Oi. Huh, yeah. Huh, yeah. yeah. Make sure that the huh isn't a word. It's not like a huh. yeah. It's just yeah. But what if you disagree? Huh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oops. Yeah. Yeah. How oops. else would you use oops? Do, using oops, say I need to go to the bathroom. Oops. <laughs> That's definitely yeah. what it's for. Okay. Oops. Um, you've put way too much salt on my meal, waiter, and now I need to order it again. Oops. <laughs> What Oops. else? I got more. Um, uh, what if you are at the bank and you want to get a cashier's check, but they want to give you a uh, the other kind of check? They money order. A money order. Oops. Oops. What if you want a cashier's Oops. check for one hundred and eighty-two dollars and fourteen cents? Oops! 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 I have to count up. Oh, my oh, This turn. is on fire today. That I got a little one. It's from McFlufferty. Like I've never hit. Ooh. Nick Fluffer Tits, what's the single worst puke story you have? None. I've told all my fucking puke stories. Sam has I've a million told, puke stories. I puke so much. Out? Ever? That's hundreds? Vomit you? free since 2011. Is that can't because say that. That's a good one, though. Is, that, is that because you are sick or because you're drunk? Sam just likes throwing yes. up. 
I can't. And not in a sad, up. like fucked up way, but like I think you just you uh, recognize that throwing up is healthy at mm -hmm. times, so yeah. you do it. No, I can't I won't do be it. like no. I'm, I'm not like I'm bored at home. Su suffering. Yeah, me no. too. I'd rather yeah. sit there and suffer. No, I'd rather I can't throw up. I yeah, I just can't. Wait, you like you've tried. You've like. Did you know that in this part of your throat right here, there's like a flap? And I think that's what lifts up to stop you from breathing in. I have touched that with my fingers trying to throw up. That is too much information for me. Sorry. Quite frankly. Well, what do I do if I can't throw up? Epicac. No, you can't buy that. I think they've taken it off the market. Damn. Are you trying to propose to me? Yeah. No, I'll do that if I'm sick. I would rather puke for like what thirty seconds. I did it and once. Instead of being sick. I don't want to hear about this anymore. It was my birthday like th three years ago, <laughs> and I was very, I was violently ill, and Aww. I was like, all I want to do is throw up. I was sweating. I was like, I just need to do this, and I just remember going, I can't, I can't throw up. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It turns out from the party last night, someone threw a Pringle chip in the toilet, and by the time I went to throw up, that chip had chip crisp. Had was really really soggy, so when I put the lid up and I saw that, I went. Yeah. <laughs> and just out. <laughs> yeah. So that's wow. probably my single worst puke story. I don't have one. I had food poisoning once from like, well, I guess you call it ramen noodles. We call them instant noodles. You know, like the thirty. Yeah, we call it that. We say that. Like two minute noodles. Yeah, that's what oh, we call yeah. the cheap kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I threw up the flavoring, which was just green water, and mm. then I threw up the noodles three hours later. Uh, mm. I have my favorite puke story. Come on! I I'm, have a favorite. Oh what yeah, the yeah. favorite time you the threw up. The favorite time. It's just mainly of the events that happened around it. And I just know that I puked during it, and the puke was just tied to it. I was drunk at a party, uh, and I walked out to the front because I there, the bathrooms were all busy. So I puked in a rose bush, and I was like, I gotta pee too. So I peed on the rose bush, and then I remember I fixed myself up. I turned around, and then six hours later, I woke up in the back of my car, don't know how I got there, and I had like 20 missed calls and a bunch of Vine notifications and Snapchats. And I was mm -hmm. like, what happened? So uh, I was able to gather from uh, the Vines of people, the people made Vines of them searching for me, and they posted like, with my name on it, Snapchats and missed calls, because they didn't know where I went. Apparently, as soon as I turned around, I took my keys out of my pocket, walked over to my car, Got into the back of my car, yeah. and I and I also uh, yeah exactly no I'm in the back of my car and like so uh, it didn't move anywhere. But uh, I before I go to like parties or anything, I pack like a little bag of like waters and granola bars so that I can eat things and like sober up and then like take a nap. So I ate those because there was a mess. Well, you could everywhere. just not drink as much. I could, but in case I get get carried away. Okay. And then I passed out and I put my keys in the trunk of my car. Okay. So I couldn't even when I woke up I just went back to sleep until Wait, 6 a.m. Wait, because you couldn't drive. How did you? Put the keys in the trunk of your car. I it was, I used to have uh, a cube, so it was oh, like yeah, a yeah, yeah. So you just tossed the keys in the back, fell over, went to sleep. Yeah. Six hours later, woke up, then fell back asleep again after I figured everything your out. Your birthday's in August this month, right? No. I'm turning 22. Mm -hmm. So you've been legally able to drink for uh, 11 and a half months. You've done very well in that time. Uh huh. I'm impressed with you uh -huh. and your catching up. Thank you. I yep. I definitely had to play catch up. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's 18 in Australia. Yeah, yeah. I think that makes countries I'm more mature. Seasoned. It Us does. here in America, we're like 21, so we're like, I can't wait to be an adult. We I'm gonna like do animals. it right now. Yeah, we mm -hmm. act like animals. Like, if, yeah. Uh, no underscore wasp says, which would be better to have dragon. as a pet? A unicorn <laughs> or a dragon? <laughs> dragon. That's not even a competition. Uh, it depends dragon. on what kind of dragon. You get the flying kind. Do you want? It's cool to me. Well, I mean, it can light a fire. You can cook things on the fire. No, it, it won't be able fly. to just light a fly fire. It'll start an inferno. It could, mm. which is still pretty cool if you have enemies like surrounding you. I got none. I mean, I got enemies. I got a lot of enemies. Got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy. Trying to pull away from a. Uh, I'd rather have a dragon. Though. <laughs> Unicorn is cool though. Do not. D diss the unicorn. Why? What are you gonna it's do? Just, it's not a white unicorn with a pink horn. It's like it's like a all oh, black unicorn. Like it's a it's a black horse. Uh -huh. Like a strong stallion with a it's still pink horn. With a pink horn still. Uh huh. But it's still real cool and it's real sharp. If it was like Twisty? a Pegasus, it could fly. That'd be better. Yeah. Oh wait. If it was a Pegasus. Oh, I'm or thinking a dragon. Pegasus. Yeah. 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 Never mind. Yeah. Unicorn's lame. <laughs> yeah. Pegasus you, is super cool. Unless you suck Pegasus the blood cool. and then you know you live forever. Oh, yeah. Does that make you ugly? Does drinking unicorn's blood make you look like Voldemort? Uh, or did he do that? No, he did it for life. It heals you. You could be like near death. You have like dying and you drink it and it'll keep you alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't make you ugly. So yeah, you drink that. It was silver blood too, which looks I really remember. Cool. It was yeah. real cool. 
that's etched into my brain from childhood. Emily Adams asks, what is your opinion on body modification, uh, piercings, tattoo, etc., and out of the ordinary hair colors? Hey! Mine's real greasy right now, so I'd be careful. I can style it, Ben. Yeah, see? Uh, I usually like to stay pretty simple with it when it comes to me. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion on other people having different hair I colors? I think it's cool. I like it when people have other hair colors. I know. It's a really, it's really attractive. Shock boy! Yeah? You like it? I thought about doing that to myself for a whole minute. We'll see what happens in 2016. <laughs> um, okay, so piercings. I I only got my ears pierced when I was 17, and I cried, and I was like, that's, that's not for me. I don't like pain, so that I don't even wear them anymore. Um, tattoos, I have PB, which stands for Papa Bear, which is for Has my Has that baby. always been there? Uh-huh. I actually Papa just Blue. noticed it. Me too. Yeah, I actually, mm. since we were doing this table talk, mm -hmm. I noticed it. I got it five it. years ago. Oops. <laughs> I know the other one. My Triforce, there you go. which I got two years ago, which is obviously stands for Power, power Courage, and Wisdom. What's um, the middle thing stand for? It's not colored in. Well, I mean, it's, it's got to stand for something. It's literally what it stands in. It's just stand. Oh. That's so what you stand. Stands for. It stands for Will you stand, stand for anything? Mm -mm. Will you fall for nothing? Yes. Okay. Um, body modifications never. I've seen them. I, I get oh obsessed my God. with looking at them because <sighs> it's like... What is a body modification? Like, you can cut your tongue to have a oh, snake's Oh, no, hell tongue. no. Sorry. You can, no, put, you put, like, you can do it. I don't you just put want magnets I don't want in it. your fingers. No, that. no. Oh, I asked you that question. Remember, I was like, if you could do any body modification, what would you do? And you said magnets and like yeah. your little pinky fingers. But those are like, that's what freaks me out the most. They say put it in your ring finger mm -hmm. because if your ring finger gets ripped off, it's it won't fuck you up as much. That Wait, was what's the point of having a magnet? Is, like that, that's you cool. that modified. I don't know. Um, what's the point of having a magnet in your hand? No. You can literally pick up something that just stays so, yeah. on your skin. If you're too lazy you know when you're busy. This. I think there was like a... I can't even tell you. There's also... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Smooth. There's guys who have internal uh, headphones in their ears. Internal headphones? Mm -hmm. But they're also magnets. So Are if they you beats? go into an MRI, they'll... Ding, ding, ding. Rip out We're real seconds fast. away from having our own little microchip in there with all of our contact list. Our know. contact list. So you don't have to remember any numbers. Mm. I'd get it. God, technology has freed details. us up to do something. Mm. <laughs> uh, but as far as hair colors go, I've been rainbow, and at the end of last year, I was just, I just wake up and I'm like, today, today I'm gonna completely change my hair color, and I dyed it bright pink, and as a consequence, I looked like Jesse from Team Rocket in Pokemon, <laughs> and that was awesome. It, what yeah, is, no, because it looked really good. I've seen the pictures. What is your hair like by itself? You're looking at it. Wow, layers. Thanks, guys, for watching Table Talk. I'm your host, Ma Garrett. I don't understand. I don't know. It's a lot of different colors. It's nice. I, what happened? It's just your hair, your hair is nice. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the end of the episode. We've been gone for a while. We've got one more question? No. <laughs> You're right. It is the end See, of the I episode. I could feel it. I felt Maud? it. I felt I thought, it. I Gosh, feeling without something Maud deep down here, too. Oh, good. we wouldn't be... Well, I'm Maud. I'm Maud. I got all the right ideas. I've only been here like two months, and I'm smarter than you guys, and I make sure you know it all the time. In a polite way, though, in a polite way. Just through my actions, not out of assholery. That's Will that does asshole shit. Stop it, Will. You gotta be Sam now. I can't keep up. <laughs> Who am I right now? Uh, I don't Can know. I be Maud instead? <laughs> yes. You did a really good job so far. Uh -huh. good. I actually didn't even find any of that offensive, because it was I mean, it's true. Mm -hmm. on. Yeah, you exactly. smart, all right? Yeah, you yeah, smart. I mm -hmm. And I do subtle things to let everyone know. In case you didn't know, Maud's smarter than everyone in the building. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's undeniable. It's not mm -hmm. a debate. <laughs> Len, Maud's smarter than everybody here, right? Yes. Yep. <laughs> right. Yeah, Maud's smarter than everybody here, right? <laughs> right. Uh, yes. Thank yes. you. All right. All right. Thank so you guys for watching Table Talk. Don't forget to send your questions using the hashtag Table Talk to Twitter and on the subreddit r slash sourcefed in the appropriate thread. I'm Sam. I'm Maud. Are you ever going to do the other one? Did you no, decide I like which? That. I like this I'm one. I'm the flesh. Do you like I'm decide you want the left one off? or? Yeah, it was easier when I went to pee. Mm. I'm the Flash. Not an accident. I'm the Flash. Imagine if you I'm tapped that and it was like a button for speed. Or what if my costume came out of it? Oh, uh, um, I'm trying to get up from my chair, but my ego is so big from my f smart brain that I'm stuck. <laughs> Will will help you. Whoa! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> she was more like a <laughs> queen in a move scene. <laughs> I'm the flash. <laughs> Bull is coming back, and I know you hate it, but today we're gonna make backpacks for you to wear. Backpacks go on sale July 27th for $40.
That's it? For a backpack? Really? First up, the new Fantastic Four movie has now been officially exposed to the public and it turns out it's a big giant smelly turd from Turd Town, USA. Population, one giant green turd named the Fantastic Four. We've got all your favorite Compton Kids classics. She swallowed it, her vegetables. Real students don't cry. Appetite for nutrition. Friends for life. If it isn't nice, parental appreciation is advised. 